When it comes to optics, one of the important things we have to do is describe the image. So I've got a number of notes here on the board, probably worth copying down. But let me go through some of the main points so that when we draw ray diagrams, you know what I mean when I'm saying we're describing the image. If you look at something like this, here's a simple camera. I've got a picture, I've got an actual candle, let's say, and the image is projected in through the camera onto some film at the back of the camera. And we want to describe how is that image compared to the original. So the important things to note are, and this depends on how your school does it, you may use all of these or only a few of these, but the characteristics usually are size. Is the image bigger or smaller than the original? Here's the object, here's the image. The image is, in this case is smaller. Um, the orientation, that means is it the same orientation as the original? In this case, the candle is upside down. So our choices are upright or inverted. Uh, the location. Sometimes we don't need this information, but your teacher may ask for it. Location is, does the object appear closer or further from the lens? Uh, the image, does the image appear closer or further from the lens than the object? And in this case, if this was the lens, this image is closer to the lens than the original object. And we've got type, real or virtual. This takes a little more discussion. Real images are images that can be projected onto a screen. So for example, I have a lens here. This is a, a lens in this shape. It's called a convex lens. And I can create a real image, which is gonna be difficult for you to see. But I look, the light from that light fixture there goes through the lens and goes onto the paper and I can actually focus it. And on this piece of paper, I can see an image of that light bulb. So that is a real image. It's on a screen. Another example would be if your teacher uses an overhead projector to project something on a screen, that must be a real image. Same with your projector at home that you use to project movies on a screen, that's a real image. Virtual images are a little more difficult to describe. A virtual image, you look through the lens or into the mirror to see it. So if I'm talking about a mirror, this mirror here creates an image of me uh, but I can't project that onto any paper. I look at the mirror to see it, and I can see I'm a little bit smaller and I'm upright. Um, if I look through this type of lens, this is a concave lens, which we'll discuss lenses a little bit later, but this lens, um, I can't project that light onto this paper. I have to look through this lens to see something, and this lens um, I notice that everything I see through it is smaller and upright. But this is a virtual image because I have to look through it. So any device you look through to see an image gives you a virtual image. For example, my eyeglasses. I don't do this. I don't look at, oh, there's a car over there. I want to read its license plate. Oh, there it is. I look through the glasses. So this creates a virtual image. Same with a microscope or a telescope. They're all examples of virtual images. The other thing we need to know sometimes is the magnification. With magnification, it's a simple formula. I've got um, the height of the image, I measure how big the image is, and basically how big the object is. I don't want to see is the image bigger than the object or smaller than the object. A magnification of one means the image is exactly the same size as the object. A magnification of more than one means the image is bigger. So when I project something on the screen, it's a bigger image, the magnification is going to be greater than one. If the number is smaller than one, then I'm creating an image that's smaller. And if you look at the formula, simple formula, magnification is HI, that's the height of the image, over HO, height of the object. So this image here is size, smaller, orientation, upside down, so it's inverted, location, it's on the opposite side of the lens, and it's closer to the lens than the object. It's virtual, uh, real, because it's um, on a screen, and the magnification is going to be less than one. I could calculate it by measuring this and measuring that. It doesn't matter what the units are, because this formula, the units cancel out. It's just a number. It's a ratio. Okay.